there's four things you need to know when it comes to litigation. And these four things you need to know when it comes to litigation is how to respond, when to respond, when not to respond, and what system to use. Those are the four points of processes to take legal action. Now here's some very valuable information is the key is, is when they send you um, a notice to default, the key is to respond to that notice in reasonable time. All of these are very important because what it's doing is it's giving you options on how to respond and when to respond to the notice, right? Um, the main thing we're going to be talking about in this lesson is about contract law. Everything goes hand in hand. It goes to credit. It goes to law itself. And anytime you use your social security number or you sign your name on any type of documentation, it's all dealing with a contract. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to ping you with something. So we're going to talk about how to defend yourself and how to get out of those contracts. Or if you want to take it into legal matters, is how to um, handle these situations before you even get into court and how to defend yourself to not get into court. Now, a lot of people think that 18 U.S.C. 8 applies to you when it comes to private contracts, and it doesn't apply to you when it comes to a pri uh, private contracts, and I'm going to show you the reason why. Now, as y'all can see right here in 18 U.S.C. Code 8, is that when you're dealing with these private contracts, this doesn't apply to you unless you apply it to the initial contract. And a lot of people are thinking that this applies to you. It doesn't apply to you because you're in an agreement. This is private between another party. Now, I'm going to read a little bit of this to you guys, and then I'm going to show you all what applies to you when it comes to these contracts. So it says the term obligation or other security of the United States includes all bonds, certificates of indebtedness, national bank currency, Federal Reserve notes, Federal Reserve bank notes, coupons, United States notes, treasury notes, gold certificates, silver certificates, fractional notes, certificates of deposit, bills, checks, or drafts for money. Okay, now let me show you guys right here in Article 110. And like I said, you guys can also do your own research. If you don't think that you're understanding it from my point of view, I mean, you can go in here and look at it on your point of view. And let's show, I'm going to show you right here in Article 1. 10 or why this applies to you. It says, no state shall enter into any treaty. Do y'all hear that? It says no state. No state. The first thing they're saying. And this is so heavy because you're getting into an agreement, not contracts. Enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation, grant letters of marquee and respile, coin money, emit bills of credit, Make anything but gold and silver coin a tender and payment of debts. I know y'all heard that, right? It says make anything but gold and silver coin a tender and payment of debts. It says to pass any bill of a tender, ex post, factual law, or law impairing the obligation of contracts or grant in any title of notary. So that shows y'all right there that 18 USC code eight, it doesn't apply because your agreement is private between uh, another party. Another key point is to understand demand letters and how to use demand letters. Once y'all start to piece all this together, it's gonna start to make a lot of sense and you're gonna know how to defend yourself um, whenever you're going to court, um, whenever you apply for credit cards and denying you, because you'll have to remember that all these corporations, they, they just go off of these systems and like it's been passed down for so long. Like these little guides, like they're not backed by the law itself. And this is the reason why you're able to defend yourself. And what I want to show you guys is that it it's going to take you a little bit of research. But once you all get it down in hand, like you're going to be able to 
go out there and get what you want and when you want it. But you have to research. You have to do um, a lot of studying when it comes to this. This is how you can be able to get out of your situations. Now, of course, there's more to this lesson to be taught. Uh, a lot more to this lesson and what I would like to do is I want to like set up a zoom call or zoom meeting for people that's really interested in to learning uh, how to be able to defend yourself and to go into court or you know just understanding how the bill of exchange work or how to tender a payment and how to uh, dispute you know um, it takes a little bit of time but I want to hold um, a zoom class or you know, or do a little audio recording for the people that's out here that's really interested into taking the next step in their life. Now, if you feel like this video is very valuable, y'all go ahead and give me a like, share, and comment, and stay tuned to the next one.